Now, every August, a small Oxfordshire village welcomes an invasion of around 20,000 music fans for a festival. Fairport's Cropperty Convention is held in the village of Cropperty near Banbury. Now, it is a festival for all ages with both folk and rock music on the bill. It's on all weekend, so we've sent two music lovers with very different tastes to try it out. Now, I have been to this festival and it's really great fun. Simon Parkin and Emma Pine are there for us. So, guys, tell everyone at home, what is this festival all about? Well, you've said it really, it's all about the music. Fairport Convention organised this, they've been organising it for 25 years and that's who 20,000 people are coming to see this weekend. Well. Only about 10,000 people are here so far because it's taken quite a while to get here this yeah. afternoon, hasn't don't, it? Don't talk to me about journeys to get here. I had to ditch my car about three miles away and walk. I'll show you my blisters if you're lucky. But I got here in time to see the legendary Wishbone Ash who are on stage now. And as they were introduced, we were told only seven bands are allowed to call themselves legendary. So I've been trying to work out who the other six are. So far I've got S Club 7, Steps and Rubber. What about Take That? No, no, no. They're not in your top seven? No, no sorry. OK, well, some of us have actually been here all day, soaking up the atmosphere and just seeing what it's really like to be here at the festival. The Fairport Cropperty Convention is like no other festival. The folk rock music event is so laid back, it attracts a wide variety in its audience. From young to old, everyone's here just to have a good time. I was here in 1979 and gradually we've brought more and more people but this is the first time we've got three generations and he's the best, that's Jack. Campers arrived early this morning to grab a good spot. But we've come with a group of friends who are seasoned festival goers and um, they told us how fantastic the festival is and so uh, we thought we had to come and see it for ourselves this year. Fairport's pretty open to all sorts of age groups so you get the old guys with the beards and then you get us as well so it's always good fun. I love the music. I come with a load of friends who you can see here. Um, been coming, well, my first property was 30 years ago. Uh, not been every year since then, but uh, nowadays it's nearly every year. The festival has been held here at Cropperty since the 1980s, and in the last two decades the audiences have just grown and grown. This year, 20,000 people will be on site. Among them, some famous faces. It's just the best festival in the whole world. It's brilliant. It's a good family atmosphere. And of course, because the boys have been going 40 years celebration this year. The festival certainly welcomes newcomers like me. And lots of people had some great tips. Well, the one thing that everyone keeps telling me to do is you must go to Leon's and have something to eat. Well, here we are. Why is your food so spectacular? Because there's so many different flavours, over 30 different ingredients. It's everything you need to withstand a lot of Wadworth's beer. There's, um, for instance, today there's 11 items on a nine and three quarter inch plate featuring lots of different flavours, textures and colours. Just have a look. But of course, what everyone is here for is the music. Well, of course, and that music is about Fairport Convention. We wouldn't be stood here if it wasn't for them, and they're celebrating their 40th anniversary this year. Well, one of the founder my members, Simon Nicole, joins me now. Simon, you must be so proud of this event. Well, I'm just delighted that what was a hobby became a job, and now it's a career, but it's still what I choose to do as a hobby. So what is it that makes this event so special? I don't know. There's a family atmosphere you don't encounter in other fields. Uh, there's something special about a festival which is actually run by a band rather than a consortium of businessmen or whatever. There's a real feeling of a shared spirit in there and to sell it out, this is the first time we've sold it out ahead of time and uh, even the sun's come out, what can I tell you? I'm up to my knees in happiness. So 40 years ago, did you ever imagine that it would turn out like this? No, I just thought, you know, playing a guitar when I was 16 years of age was just a phase that everybody I knew went through. You know, it was nothing special to be in a band. Uh, you went back to college, you went on, you got a job, and you ended up with a Jaguar and a golf club, but, you know. And Oxford is a special place for you too? Well, this festival is all about this village of property. You know, it started out as an adjunct to a, the village fete in about 74, 75. Nobody outside the village knew about it, and it's just grown little by little every year, and now we've got the biggest event of its type in the world. Thank you so much, Simon, for joining us. Well, of course, they will be taken to the stage on Saturday night, but please join me later where I'll give you more of the lineup coming this weekend.
We certainly will. And at Looking least it's good. sunny, isn't it? Hey, yeah, none of that horrible mud that they had at uh, Glastonbury. Much better.